Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression if we have 25 square minus 15 square divided by 5 square and we write this algebraic expression into the simplest form but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem so this means that we need to show all of the working on this paper so here uh, you need to remember all these steps in order to gain full marks in your exam okay so that's why i can just solve this problem step by step further i can solve this problem for three methods i hope so you like all these three methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method here we need to break this fraction and we can write this 5 square separately on both of these two values and it will becomes 25 square divided by 5 square minus this is 15 square divided by 5 square and here we use the nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m so we write it as a over b and its whole power is m so according to this rule of exponents uh, we need to combine uh, the exponents of both of these two terms and it will become 25 over 5 whole square minus this will become 15 over 5 whole square. So here we need a uh, uh, simplification, little bit simplification here and you see that this is 5 times 5 becomes 25, this is 5 times 3 becomes 15 and from here we get 5 square minus from here we get 3 square and we have this 5 square becomes 25 minus this 3 square becomes here 9 and 25 minus 9 becomes here 16. So this is the our final simplified form of the given question which we get here from first method. And now we again solve this problem for second method. And uh, in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is 25 square minus 15 square divided by 5 square. So this is the our given question and here we use another technique and here we just uh, apply the nice algebraic formula to solve this problem and here we use this formula if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so after applying the below formula we write our above expression as this will become here a minus b we have our a is 25 minus b is 15 into this is a plus b and again our a is 25 plus b is 15 and it is divided by 5 square and further in the next step here we need more simplification and this is 25 minus 15 and 25 minus 15 is equals to 10 is multiplied by 25 plus 15 becomes 40 and it is divided by this is 5 square and we write this 5 square as 5 multiplied by 5. So here uh, we need to cancel the terms and we have this is 5 times 2 becomes uh, 10 and 5 times 8 becomes 40 and we get 2 times 8 becomes here 16. So again in the second method we get the simplified form of the given question is 16. And now we move towards our third method and uh, in the third method here again we copy down given question statement here. So that our given question statement is 25 square minus 15 square divided by 5 square. And in the third method, uh, here we use another technique, multiplication technique. So here first we need to uh, convert all of these numbers into the prime factors form. And we know about that the prime factors of 25 are 5 multiplied by 5 and its whole square minus the prime factors of 15 are 
3 multiplied by 5 and its whole square and it is divided by 5 square. And here in the next step, we need to apply this square separately on both of these two values and it will become 5 square is multiplied by 5 square minus 3 square is multiplied by 5 square and it is divided by 5 square. And further in the next step, you see here in the numerator side, 5 square be the common term. So here we need to take common 5 square and when we take common 5 square from here, we get 5 square and when you take common 5 square from here we get 3 square and it is divided by 5 square so this 5 square is cancelled out by this 5 square and we get the remaining values are 5 square minus 3 square and you know about that 5 square becomes 25 minus 3 square becomes here 9 and in the final step 25 minus 9 becomes here 16 so this is the, our final simplified form and you see here from all these three methods we get the same simplified answer and this is the final answer thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos